Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video uh, we have a Lenovo laptop here. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad C340 series and the exact model for this one is a C3340-15IWL and those information can be found on the bottom of the sticker even the three model name the name of the model is an 81N5 but the model number would be C340-15 and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how you can upgrade the RAM and what's the maximum capacity that yours might have. Yeah, I made a video on how you can check out by yourself with just a simple, without any program, the maximum RAM capacity for your laptop, PC. I'll leave the link in my video description. Check that up, the link up. It's like a one minute long video. And with that, you can know what to exactly, how much RAM you can place in this one. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can install those RAMs. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. And at the bottom case, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to remove these screws. These are torque number T5 torque. And we're going to be using iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. And we're going to be using a torque number 5. And if you get a pro set of the iFixit uh, screwdriver set, they will give you an opening tool and tweezers and a few other stuff. Otherwise, get the basic one and grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers and cases. So we're going to start removing all the screws on the bottom cover. Keep the longest screws to one pile and the short ones in the other one. If they are the same, keep them in one pile. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the screws. As always, if you guys like my videos, if my video helping you guys out through your own upgrade and cleaning, servicing, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It would be a great support and motivation for me. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Alright, once you remove the bottom uh, screws, now what you want to do, you want to Grab the opening tool, you want to stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. Just a little bit inward to a 3mm, and now you just want to twist it towards the outside, and you're going to hear a few clicks. You want to do that all around in the front end, work yourself around to the sides and towards the back corner. Once you got the sides and the back corners, you're going to go this way too. Now you're going to close it down. And you want to lift it up from front side up, wiggle it around, and it will come out. All right, right away here we can see the whole inside of the laptop, and the RAMs are under this cover right over here. People always say me you should remove the battery. You do not need to remove the battery to do this process. It's absolutely not necessary. But if you are not cautious, you can just touch another component with a, a metal tweezers or something. So in that case, go ahead and remove the battery by pulling this. Cable backward. I'm gonna grab a tweezer. So we're gonna grab a tweezer and we're gonna first bring the cables outward from here. So we expose the cables right there. Now we're gonna pull these cables evenly back towards the battery and we should be able to release this jack. So I'm just gonna help it out a little bit. It is kind of tough, but there we go. And that's how you remove the battery. Once we disconnect the battery. Now we're going to remove the cover that the RAM is on. So we, to remove it, all you need to do is put a tweezer right under the case and lift it up from this side a little bit, a little bit from there. There's a tiny clip, like a six, seven clips around just holding the case. So once you lift it up a little bit, bring it up and slide it up. Be very careful. These are really sharp. I have cut myself a few times and these are really sharp actually. All right. And the single RAM that is being installed is exposed right there, so you can see it right there. So to remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these triggers away from each other, and the RAM should come out in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is to grab it and pull it out in a 45 degree angle, and that's how you remove the RAM. These are a DDR4 RAM, so you can grab a 16 gig RAM stick or a 8 gig RAM stick. And what you want to do, you want to make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim, which is right over there. So you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle, all the way towards the jack, pinch them together. 
and then you want to push it gently towards the motherboard and you should hear these two triggers clicking just like that remove it pull them away it comes out in 45 pull it out in 45 make sure the notch match all the way towards the dim and softly gently toward the motherboard once you finish with that grab the cover align it over the clips and press it down once you did that all you need to do is to grab the battery connector bring it align it straight and push it toward the connector and there we go and the last thing down here would be to grab the bottom cover bring it up align it and push down and you should hear a few clicks and if there's any opening between the top and the bottom case you can just simply grab it and pinch them real hard and it will go in place and there we go when you see the back side the back side there's a little opening there so i'm just gonna pinch that pinch that and there we go and the last thing down here would be to just put the bottom screws remember the screws are the same size and height so you cannot uh, make a mistake as always if you guys have any question any requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i will try to answer them as soon as i can if you like this video you know what to do click that like button and think about subscribing to support the channel i really appreciate it as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video